I'm actually back streaming, and I it's kind of since I've been away for maybe two or three weeks, it seems like this is kind of my first ever broadcast because <laughs> you just get so uh, you just it's it's really hard to get used to streaming, and then when you're away, it takes forever to get back into the swing of things. So kind of bear with me, and. I really missed everybody, so we have to we have to pretend that this is my first ever broadcast. But at least I had the face cam up, and then what's going to happen is I have to do my post it because I I removed it since I obviously when I play video games off streaming. Oh wait, let me just make sure that. Oh see now they don't. Okay, we 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 didn't even do the basics, so let's go. The sound sounds pretty good, so let's go back here. We're going to go to live, and I have to put Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So the interesting thing about the stream today is I just wanted to kind of give you guys an educational sound piece before we start. So so the first step is I was debating about when I come back from streaming, should I stream Assassin's Creed Odyssey or Dark Souls? And I think when I was being, I mean, I was like really hardcore. It was like beyond the pale. It was, it was really absurd. So when I was streaming really, 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 did this show up? When I was streaming extremely hardcore, I would have definitely streamed Dark Souls Remastered. <laughs> So, so this is going to be like one hour. Well, the thing is, is like, what you want to do is when you set up a schedule, which which is like key to gaining viewership. You, you really, <laughs> how are you doing, Oni? I really miss you all. So I'm actually happy back streaming. I think it's, I think in the end, it's really good for me. Uh, the the issue is that I was being way too hardcore about it, so I decided to do Assassin's Creed even though this is not the game for a small streamer to stream, and the reason being is that you'll see like the first page you have all the top streamers, the second page the top streamers, and you have to scroll down to the seventh or ninth page before you find my channel, so I'm not going to gain the viewership so to speak, but um, since I'm not kind of worried about viewers, I just want to be with you guys and be with the community. And I think the community wanted to see something more fresh, like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, because a lot of people are not playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey since the hype is surrounding Red Dead Redemption 2. So I I think this is good. And, and Oni, bear with me. It has been such a long time. It feels like it feels like the first day ever when I broadcast, I didn't quite understand. I had to like spend maybe 15 minutes doing the technical details, but I think let's update information. And then we have to kind of go back yet again to channel. We always have to do this. <laughs> Sir Charles, thank you so much. Sir Charles, happy Ben. I missed you so much. And I was wondering, oh, you know what I have to do? I have to, See, I, it's been so long. I, I think I have to change. I have to change one thing. I think this is. I forgot what I was supposed to do because broadcast. See, I ha really have to go back to the basics. It's really embarrassing. So I think you have to go back here. You have to go to. Uh, well, yeah, audio. Wait, well, not audio sharing. Advanced settings, camera video settings. And I don't think you want to flip horizontal. Is this correct? I don't know. Yeah, Sir Charles is so much work. And so I think, uh, I think for me, if I were streaming hardcore and I was like so obsessed with numbers over and over and over again, what I would have done is I would I would be streaming Dark Souls Remastered, and the reason why is like yes, uh, if you're if you're streaming Dark Souls, yes, you're gonna have Happy Hob, and then Lobo is getting the 1,000 viewers each. But then there's like 3,000 more who are watching, and then like the third channel might have a, a couple, the next couple of channels might have a hundred, 
and then 30 and then for me I'll be on the first page because you know I tend to have like 10 to 20 viewers so like you really don't you really you really I think Dark Souls Remastered Borderlands 2 is also really good because it's the same it's even better to be honest because uh, like the first two streamers they might get like 75 50 and then the next couple have like 20 to 30 however I really can't I'm sorry Sir Charles and Oni I know you both love shooters. I just couldn't. I couldn't stream Borderlands Two. Uh, uh, it's because I have to kind of see it in terms of. That's why I don't do PvP because middle age. I really can't. I really can't. Oh, okay. So now we have this. So we have to put this because, like, my viewership is definitely going to shrink since I haven't been and I haven't been doing the networking. So that networking definitely increases your viewership and two like my my schedule has changed so my viewer numbers are going to be like really low but again we're not we're not concerned about um, gaining viewership but I'm just saying in terms of educational since we're we're really trying to get affiliation increased viewership and I I really do want you guys to get partner but in a sane manner Yes, exactly. You do want to lose the idea of them being important. Exactly. Like the viewership, it's all about viewers, 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 the, the reality to get partnership. But I don't really, I know it's so oversaturated with bigger streamers. Exactly, Sir Charles. But I think the thing is, is that we watch you, uh, your viewers are very loyal, Sir Charles. We watch you. We don't really say, oh, I want to watch Red Dead Redemption 2. No, I, I want to watch Oni. I want to watch Sir Charles. So I don't care what game you play. Like you could play DuckTales Remastered and I'll still watch you guys but I think the reality is if you want to gain new followers new viewers you need to you can't do a big game like Assassin's Creed Odyssey you can't do Fortnite Battle Royale you can't do Red Dead Redemption 2 you want to do something like Borderlands 2 actually is the ideal game to stream I, I, I just can't. I'm middle-aged. It's, it's, it's the reason why I can't do PV, PvP. I can't compete with like teenagers and people in their 20s because their focus and mental energy is so... And I thought like, oh, I could become partner. But that was, yeah, maybe when I'm in my 20s, if I have some luck and I'm doing all this networking, maybe I can achieve partnership. But I think right now it's middle age. I just can't do it. Just as like, right, <laughs> I know I'm middle age. But search, I was like right now, like I, I don't think I could go to, back to med school. I don't think I could go through the med school grind. So, and I'm gonna be eating. Cause like before I was like, oh no, you should not eat. Um, because it would gross out your viewers <laughs> and your viewers will leave. But now it's like, fuck, fuck the number of viewers. I'm gonna just stream the way I want to stream. And everything's gonna just be, Hanging. Like everything's supposed to be like hanging out, so to speak. So, mm, Oni, how is Shadow the Tomb Raider? I know, Sir. I know, Sir Charles. I agree, but I think when you want to get the <clears throat> when you want to get increased followers, increased viewers, <laughs> you have to like. You have to be really delicate. You have to be like on point. You can't have your hair flying all over the place like I do. <laughs> so, you have to, you have to take a bite. See, I, I was, I actually exercised for thirty minutes because a step mill in Planet Fitness finally, is it, no, yeah, Planet Fitness was like for the longest time they had to, there was missing a part, and so for safety reasons, um, every single Planet Fitness their step. Step mill wasn't working, and that wasn't the one machine I like to use. So they finally today they had the step mill up, and so I did actually did 30 minutes at between 44 to 52 steps a minute. <laughs> Mr. Charles, that's the way to do it. And like a lot of people, are like oh, especially as a woman streamer, your appearance is really important. But I'm gonna just let everything. <laughs> Wait, Sir Charles. What? Chi-Chan, how are you? I miss you so much, Chi-Chan. Oh my God, did you find me? Chi-Chan, I, I keep missing your streams because I think you're streaming at 11 p.m. And I, I try to be in bed by 9 p.m. with that stupid CPAP machine, which I did not use the CPAP machine yesterday because I just can't. I was like lying in bed for eight hours straight and thankfully there's such thing as music. But I had the mask on and I didn't, I couldn't fall asleep. I was just like lying in bed listening to like Bach the whole time, which thankfully like his well-tempered clavier is like four hours. So you just like walk, listen to it twice in a row. But <laughs> I've really missed you, Chi-Chen. How are you? And, and um, Chi-Chen on your thing, can you, 
Can you put down like um, to say to store your past broadcast? Because I like to watch your video. Because I keep missing it since you stream at eleven. Oh, Oni said he might. Yeah, exactly. I think Oni, what you should do is you should wait for. Um, now, apparently, uh, I was reading Red Mod's really amazing review of the game. She was so detailed, and she was saying you should that their DLC is coming out and it's going to have everything. So I think Oni, maybe you should wait until things die down because everybody's everybody's streaming Shadow. Everyone's um, doing RDR two, Spider Man, like all the new games. So maybe wait until the DLC comes down comes out and then stream Shadow because I think the viewership will drop and the big streamers are not going to be streaming Shadow. So I think that's actually smart, Oni. <laughs> I know, I know, but Char I'm Sir Charles, but you know, as the face, face, as the face and hair of L'Oreal, I think I, I think, I think the reason why is because I have the PlayStation 4 camera, so you can't angle it to show my boobs. <laughs> so I think it's because, I think it's because of the PlayStation 4 camera. But like Star Charles, you have to work the angles. <laughs> like you need, you need like the viewership. You need the viewership, especially as a woman streamer. Oh, the other, th the other reason why I was trying. Um, I don't think Borderlands Two is good because like you know the stereotype stereotype of the bad woman gamer, and so streaming. Um, oh hey Todd, I'm streaming right now. I know. Um, so as as a, as a woman streamer, like you don't want to have bad gameplay, and I was like really, I was horrific at Borderlands 2. I, I don't understand. I think chat was carrying me through because I don't understand how I was able to get through chapter nine or chapter. Oh, the forge. Oh, that's gonna be fun, Oni. So definitely wait until that comes out. And yes, and you also have PvP to do Ghost Ghost Recon. I think not for me, obviously, because I can't do shooters, Oni. But Ghost Recon is actually a good game to stream. So um, now I'm gonna do a new game. So let's. But I just want to make sure everyone's okay. Oh, yes, yeah, save, because I like to watch you streams, Chi Chin, because I can't see you if you're doing 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, the other issue, like the low viewership today, also can be due to the fact that it's daylight savings time. So, as you know, usually it'll be like, uh, maybe not, it's supposed to be 10 o'clock, but now it's 9 a.m., so that's kind of the other issue. Oh, so Oni says it's fun, has a small viewer count. Yeah, exactly. See, I think I, I really, and, and actually Oni, the, the thing about Ghost Recon is that there's like a lot of rich strategy that you can discuss as well. So I think it's a really good game to stream overall. Oh, thank you so much, Sir Charles. I think that's the key is that, well, I mean, uh, Sir Charles, I think I go to the other extreme less. Yes, you should talk with chat, but at the same time, like, you really need to have gameplay because, like, some people really want to watch the game. They want to see, oh, what is Assassin's Creed Odyssey like? Okay, starting a new game will write over the current auto saves. That's fine. Ouija! <laughs> it's been so long! How you doing, Ouija? I missed you so much. I miss everyone so much. And and, and Ouija, how's, how's your streaming coming along? Because I think everyone here is streamer. So what I wanted to mention as a educational point is um, we are relatively small. Oh, this is the, this is the starting point. So let's... Let's let's listen to this is the cutscene. We are ready, my king. Tell me the necklace. Have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Is it too loud, the game sound? <laughs> I don't know, finally typed E. Spartans! Every breath mm. that you have taken... Well, this is like a macho. ...to this moment. Every drop of Discussion. blood, sweat, and tear all of it 
has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta! So I can close, I think I can close my laptop because, but I, I kind of like the beginning cutscene because obviously he has regrets about not being with his family and then his second in command is like, oh, oh, I was, I was only a soldier and that's it, that's my entire life and now it's like, oops, maybe you should have spent some time with your family. So I kind of like how, I kind of like the psychodynamics of this where they're not saying, oh, you know, it's really cool to fight. No, it's not. I mean, I, Clearly, like this, clearly you do have to go to war because you have to protect from invaders. But if you kind of play through the game, like if they have all these like um, senseless battles throughout the whole game. And so I think I kind of like how like the beginning part, he was discussing his regrets. And yeah, this is definitely based on 300. So you're like the legendary Leonidas and he held back the, the Persians. Oh, Chi Chan, you're tired. I'm so glad to see you, Chi Chan. I really do. And, and make sure you turn on your, because I really want to uh, watch your videos, because I do miss you. I kind of, I really do miss like the Monster Hunter uh, co-op days, but Monster Hunter really, I, I'm, I'm going to play Monster Hunter once the DLC comes out, because I think they're going to do a DLC. And I'm not sure if it was you, Oni, or was it Klavitz or Odite? They were thinking that maybe until the PC catches up with the console, then they'll put out the DLC for all all platforms. But Chi Chen, have a good have a good sleep well and sleep tight and sweet dreams, Chi Chen. Okay, so you can see how overpowered Leonidas is, because you know obviously he's he's a legend. Period. Like everybody knows who he is. So you want to go you want to go after the. No, I like this. That's kind of like the stun. But I really like this game. I, I think the reason why I decided to do Assassin's Creed Odyssey is that there's like a lot of therapy moments that you can kind of discuss. Like, there's a lot of structural family therapy that you can discuss with this game because it has like a really amazing story. Whereas, yeah, Dark Souls has lore, but uh, who understands the lore? Like, I don't quite understand the lore myself with Dark Souls. It's just like, oh, uh, Link the Fire, whatever. And yeah, you can kind of talk about builds. You can definitely talk about different builds in, in Dark Souls and different techniques. But I think after a while, like, there's only so much you can say. Whereas, like, with the whole field, with this game, we have the whole field of, like, psychiatry, psychology, and therapy to discuss, which can, you know, it could lead to, like, five trillion hours of, of rich discussion. Just because people are so complex. And doing therapy is like really complex because they have to individualize. So like I feel like this game there might be more stuff to talk in. Plus, BG, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. BG, BBG coming in with the drop me. I appreciate it. So um, so BBG, we're we're not following. <laughs> we're not following. Like I'm not even paying attention to the. Because see, this is the beginning part, BBG. Leonidas is so overpowered that you really don't have to focus. Uh, and so, so, so BDG, we, we decided to do Odyssey instead of the more viewer safe method of doing Dark Souls Remastered. Because Dark Souls Remastered, you can definitely get more viewers. Just because you're not going to be buried under all of those large streamers. But I think, I love this game. I love, I... I play, this is like a masterpiece to me, and I wrote a blog about it if you want to look at it. It's really, and the reason why it's a master, well, I think it's a masterpiece because it really hits all of my gaming. So you have to press to dot. See, it's like Dark Souls. Now, do we have Shield Breaker? No, we don't. And you can like extend your dodge, there's parry mechanics. 
So it's like a con it's literally if you look at this, it's literally let's let's I'll show you the parry mechanics. But I don't know if they would but do you see my bad timing? So it's like Dark Souls where you want to be able to parry, you want to be able to dodge. But the enemies, are like, you can't just one hit KO, like, hollows like you do in Dark Souls. And in this game, like, the enemies, especially if you're doing melee, melee is not as overpowered as, like, ranged or... or... So with, with melee, you really... You really, you really need to dodge, and so it's kind of like Neo, because you know how Neo it takes forever to kill a, an enemy. So it's a cross, it's a cross between Neo and Dark Souls. So because the combat is so fabulous, BDG, like I got addicted to this game, and it made me fall in love with gaming all over again, because I got so burned out with streaming that I can't even look at a video game. That was that, that's how bad it got, BDG. But now that I've taken some time off. And I'm no longer obsessed with viewer numbers. Like, I'm much more, as you can see, I'm much more relaxed. And I just want to, I really just want to enjoy being with you guys. I miss you all. I think that's the whole point of streaming is not, not to worry about numbers, but to have fun, to, you know, enjoy your community. And, it's, and I think it's, I think think if I were not hardcore, if I casually stream, it's actually healthy for me because I actually we got up. I did like 30 minutes of step mill at 45 to 52 steps a minute. So that's like pretty impressive for me because I haven't been exercising in a long time. So it really forces me to have a, a schedule. It forces me to have a um, normalized schedule. It forces me to, you know, to be efficient. So I, I'm missing... I'm sorry, uh, you guys are missing the story, but, you know, obviously they're spitting at you because, like, oh, you know, we're defeated, and... Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day... Batman. <laughs> yeah, Leonidas is is so epic. But as you can see, like I don't, I don't even like notice that I killed the main character because I was just like, <laughs> this is funny. So Layla, who's okay, Layla Hassan. This is the funniest cutscene. So Layla Hassan is your boss, and look how casual she is. And why is Doctor Bebo like? <laughs> Like, why is she dressed up to work? Like, you have a boss who's like, yeah, he's very Batman. I think because Leonidas is like such a legend that, and he's very experienced, so he's very spry. You're the boss, boss. I mean, okay, if if Layla someone's my boss, I'd go to work like wearing sweatpants, like. Uh, because they're obviously BFFs. Like, if I have a company and okay, all of my so BFFs, I'm, I'm not going to be wearing hose to work. <laughs> I'm going to no be, like, really casual. I'm going to wear, like, sweats and t-shirt. Oh, one level fuck. Oh, Batman. Don't, I didn't... I, I know that there is Medusa, obviously, because this is Greek mythology. But I haven't faced her yet because I haven't done uh, every single side quest. Because I, I decided, okay, let's do normal. Let's take this one and then what I want to do is to have, because I had markers off Batman, so like the markers don't show up unless you approach, and then you have to go to the map. So I do, I did the, I didn't do the guide in mode. I did the exploration mode. Uh, but, uh, it was, I wasn't there because it was a very short stay. It was all diagnostic testing. And so, you know, we, we had like the really bad news. You don't and, need to worry about me. Uh, um, I've got this. A little autonomy never So I think anyone. the thing is, clap <laughs> I know it's really early, <laughs> especially, you know, but it's improved a little bit because it's daylight savings Listen, time. Listen, so I'm going yeah, off, clap I'm going right off on Dr. Beer, Bebo. For like dressing up for work when your boss is Layla Hassan and you're like BFFs. Like I'd be wearing jeans and sweatpants to work. Oh my God, Clab! It's six in the morning. That's right, because you're you're like West Coast, so that's really. I gave up at seven. Yeah, jeans are comfy, but I think sweatpants are even better. 
I mean, Layla Hassan's your boss and she's wearing jeans. Like, Dr. Debo, can't you just wear jeans? Okay, so if you, this is the first time. You went to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning, you got up at 6? Oh my god, Clavitz. I hope you, did you just like wake up because you couldn't sleep? Because that's like really late. And my sleep is fucked up as well because like the stupid CPAP machine. And I spent, since I didn't have to work the next day, so I spent two days in a row like wearing the mask and I didn't sleep at all, but I had it on for eight to nine hours, but I was listening to music for eight hours straight. It was like really, I'm really sorry about that, Clavitz. Oh, Batman, I decided to go with Cassandra because I was debating because, like, I already played the first playthrough and I know everyone plays Cassandra, but, like, I don't want to, uh, because we, we, we want to avoid spoilers, but it didn't make sense to be Alexios and you guys will see why as we get to, like, like early to mid game. So... But what do you guys think? Because I'm, I'm okay with playing either Alexios or Cassandra. Oh, it's dialogue! So, Batman, so we should do Alexios then? Yeah, Clavitz, that's like... See, it's easier said than done, but like if you kind of... I, th I think it's really hard, but you can kind of use like meditative techniques and like while you're in bed and you have music on, just kind of focus on the music and only the music. So the music, at least it'll take your attention away. And if you focus, it is meditative. Yeah, BDG, this game is like really, really, this game is like really brilliant. I, I, I know that the, the key thing is that people always make fun of Ubisoft, it, like, um, you know, like Ubisoft games. I don't know, like, I think the journalists, they always have to make fun of Ubisoft because they always followed the formula. But, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with following a formula as long as you execute it really, really well. And this game, they executed really well. Like, the combat is spectacular. So, uh, and, and BDG, I know you had, like, issues with unity because like the combat is wonky you know how like you press a button it doesn't reflect which i hate but with this game the only thing is the crouch mechanics i, I don't quite understand that that was kind of off but like the melee combat i can't speak for the range but the range is kind of fun but the melee is like really on point and yeah and this is my first assassin's creed odyssey oh and clavage you said like there's I know. Oh my god, I haven't. There's so many games I haven't played. Um, BDG, like I haven't played Far Cry. I haven't played any of the Halo series. Like there's so many. I have never played any of the Rockstar games. Yeah. So Clav, it's, is it because like the RPGs are so immersive that you get sucked into it? A Silent Hunter Six, a uh, Batman. I never, I never played that. So. Okay, now Batman wants to go with a male character. What do you guys want? Do you want me to play as Alexios or Cassandra? Yeah, I agree. Like, I think if you want to play Red Dead Redemption series, you should play two first, because I think that's like the pre-sequel, and then you play Red Dead Redemption 1 after. So... Yeah, it really does. Like, characters make all the difference. Like, a lot of people feel like with gaming, all, I mean, I guess back in the olden days, like, Dark Souls was a revelation because, like, the combat was so on point. It was so precise. And a lot of games didn't really focus. I don't know why, but I don't think a lot of games really focus on melee combat that well until Dark Souls. And now everybody's hopping on a Dark Souls. Now that games are on point with combat, like this game, Neo, and so forth, like, now you need good stories. You need, like, characters that are immersive so let's do alex we might as well do alexios because i i'm playing as cassandra in my other game files let's do alexios but like you'll see you'll see why it doesn't make sense uh, to play alexios um and we'll kind of discuss that when we get there the right path, sure. but right, i don't want to like uh, do spoilers Oh, uh, Chi Chan, you're lurking. That's okay. You, <laughs> you're funny, Chi Chan. Like, no pressure what if? What if there's an actual streamer who's like really gets pissed off and people like lurk? 
it's just like she's like a the, the dicto dictatorial streamer and she's like oh you cannot lurk how dare you lurk she, and she like really and then everybody will watch her just to see her have like a a, a mental like a a mental breakdown on stream so you can have like this controlling dictatorial woman streamer it's like no you can't lurk you have to watch my stream you have have to watch my stream okay yeah yeah batman like cassandra's hysterical too i think they're both really good like the both of the actors they did such a great job with the voice acting yeah clavitz get some sleep it's so good to see, to see you again and clavitz when are you going to be streaming again I've, i missed a lot of your streams so then what happened was i noticed that uh, I was really derpy and I forgot to program some people's channels in my in the me bot because the me bot actually automatically so I, I went back and I, I added more more streamers so I feel better about that and I definitely want to see you stream again Clavitz because I really miss you and it's it's really nice to see you again at Batman it's really nice to, oh 22 cars <laughs> that you be exactly <laughs> Oh, uh, Clavis, I'm going to watch you stream, definitely. And are you going to be doing the, your... Was it Devil May Cry? Or are you thinking of playing a different game? Like, are you going to revisit Monster Hunter with uh, Zora Magdaros? Though I think the reality is we should kind of wait until the DLC comes out and then do our finish our Kushala tickets and do the Zora Magdaros and then do the DLC. Yeah, Batman, they were. But I think all cultures were obsessed with nudity. Hey. Oh, so Caliber Six Story. Yes, I remembered you were looking forward to that, Clavitz. Tell your boss he can stick it. I... They would say Malaka. <laughs> so we have to like swear in Greek this whole. But okay, so so you do R three to lock on, and then you... if this is like Dark Souls, like it's exactly. Uh oh. Okay, now you do L1 and RL2. See? You have to time that well, too, in order to get that off. And then I like to dodge. So you, so it's actually very precise. Like, the hitboxes are large. I'm not the best at determining hitbox, but I believe Jesus Almighty was playing this, and you said hitboxes were pretty large. But I think they it makes sense to... Oh, wait. I'm used to doing second wind, so I was trying to heal. But do you see how addictive that is to 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 get that parry off? And Clavis, take it easy. I'll see you. So six hours from now, we'll we'll see you stream Soul Calibur the the story. Yes. Oh, you got full set of uh, armor of Achilles. I still I got Agamemnon, which was really overpowered, like with the. This shit happens every week. We need drop me. Nah. Thanks for the uh, warning. Uh BDG as a you're very experienced, like as a streamer, do you talk during the cutscenes or do you kind of just watch the cutscenes with really? chat? Because I just talk through everything. Again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Oh, Phoebe's so sweet. Of course. Help yourself. Hungry to wake us? Aww. <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an eagle like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. All they want. Yes, there is Batman. I, I love this. There's so much. There's so many elements to this game. Like, yes, uh, it's, it's really, it really has. Cause like, yes, I got tired of. Okay, as soon as I get tired of clearing out camps, I'm like, wait, but there's other stuff to do. I could do arenas. You can do so many different things. You could do explore the world a little bit more. You can continue the story. So you never really get bored of. There's nothing. You never really get bored of the melee combat. That's like always. Even though there's like not as. It's weird because there's not that much diversity of enemies but like doing the combat in this game it never gets old 
Oh, wait, you, you know what I can say? One of the very you can say without lying in Dark Souls here. Chi Chan, did you do a no death run? Okay, so he's not going to be a prick. He's not going to say not this again. He's going to obviously, you know, he, he's he's really nice to Phoebe. He wants Phoebe to have an eagle as well. But I think only the chosen one gets an eagle. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. Ah. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos. Is <laughs> Marcos. <laughs> Marcos. Yeah, he is the weasel. He wants you to meet him at his new house, on his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Yeah, this is... Has he, had the vineyard? Uh, he used the money he that he owes... Him? owes... Alexios. So, Marcos, <laughs> who owes me that money? <laughs> yeah, with his money. With the money what that money? he owes you. Find Marcus's new beautiful estate. You know, the <laughs> good, you check, yeah. like, you've never they played Dark Souls, you never died. I actually like, did a, I was like surprised, Chi I did a Dark Souls 2 no death run and I beat it twice. Like, this was before the lightning nerf and then after the lightning nerf patch. And I beat it twice, I was like really shocked. And the interesting thing is that it took more focus and concentration to stream than it is to do a no death run. Oh, Arizona Hawk bat yeah. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. No, can you I don't think you could train yeah, I think you can only train hawks though, Batman. I, I don't think you could really train eagles per se. I'll go tell Marcos you can. Because hawks are always used as like birds of messengers, I think. Oh, now the choices. Okay, so the good thing is I, I played a lot of the game, so I kind of know like the right choices to make. That doesn't screw things over. So obviously we're Luxios. We want to play a nice guy, so we'll just say get it's out of over. here. But there. Uh, but the thing is, like uh, sometimes like the choices you make, it can screw you over. Like if you even if you choose like the the nice choices. And I think. One thing that I wish Odyssey had, which I think Horizon Zero Dawn had, was that, like, after you help someone, you want to be able to go back to the person and see how they're doing, whereas, like, with... I don't think that really happens in this game, but, like, in, in Horizon Zero Dawn, like, you go back to someone who you helped, and they're saying, oh, we're doing better. Like, I kind of like that, or, you know, like... Or, like, let's pretend that you did a fetch quest and someone needed a house built, and when you come back to the person, you could see their new house and they sh give you a tour. So I think choices like that make sense. Um, I, I don't really like games where your choices actually lock you out of quests, which I believe this game doesn't do that, but I hate that. And and games that have multiple endings i don't like either because then you feel like oh you always want the good ending and if you mess up then you're like oops i have to play the whole game again so i, I don't quite like that i kind of like her how horizon zero dawn does it whereas you can kind of choose the choices and even though the choices don't really impact the story it, it still fleshes out the character because depending on how you respond to them you can see how the character responds back to you so you can kind of get a sense of the characters personalities and then um and i like how when you come back like when you help someone you see that the world is a better place that's the other thing i liked about horizon because horizon has like the the same story ending <laughs> and it's like this game is really and it's so beautiful like i think i love the graphics the graphics are pretty clear like this is it's not at the level of Horizon Zero Dawn graphics or Red Dead Redemption or what I've seen of Red Dead Redemption 2 because I wanted to avoid spoilers so I really love and and I like how there's like so much well you know the only vegetation that you really pick up are the olive wood and like the stones but then the ESMR sound of picking those up that's also really addictive and the crunching of his footsteps so like the sound effects are addictive like it is in Dark Souls where like I, I got really addicted to like the the 
the clang of the metal, like when you wear a metal armor. I like that sound in Dark Souls. Okay, so let's equip. Now, you know what the dumbest thing is, Batman? Like, midway through this game, I didn't realize, <laughs> I didn't even notice this part. So this armor, zero, assassin, damage, 140. You see down here, warrior damage, 16, hunter damage, 106, health, 68. And so when you equip the thing, they'll, they'll tell you, like, how much damage you're doing, which I never noticed that, so I really feel derpy. So you can't equip the bow because it's broken, and you need to fix that. And then if you look below, as you put on... See, I, I got this because I'm an Ubisoft club member, so I got the Mycenium Helm, which you can't you can't equip yet because it's level five. Okay. All right. So now, as you as you, as you see here, which I didn't notice, like I'm so derpy, but I know this is common sense, but I just didn't notice myself. So when you when you see here, I have the cursor on this armor. It's going to increase your armor to six, and then it gives you an extra point of warrior damage. So you're going to go from 16 to 17. So equipping now, you see armor 16 and warrior damage seven, 17. And I just didn't notice just because it's in the bottom. Like I tend not to really look at the bottom. Like usually you see when you look at at your stats, you, I'm just used to seeing it on top. So I kind of missed that until like I was midway through the game. Okay, and this is this is these the magnificent Mycenaean. I you get that as an Ubisoft member, and it's it's free to be an Ubisoft member. And as you play through the game, you get Katsu. Oh my God, Katsu, how are you? It's been so long since I've seen you guys. I and I really, I really, I I found out I found out that I actually do enjoy streaming. I just can't do this hardcore because I was like going in really too hard. Like I was doing networking. Uh, Katsu, it's going really well. I I just feel I just needed some time off, and you know, hearing about my friend's illness, like I felt like, oh, I have to see what's important in life, and what's important is to kind of have fun, to be with people you care about. So this is what the streaming for me now. Instead of being so focused on viewers, 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 numbers, 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 I'm really rather stream because I want to be with you guys and I enjoy your company. That's the reason why I'm streaming. Whereas before, I mean, I was I was kidding myself before because I'm like really competitive. I was like, oh, I must increase my viewership number. And now, like, I realize that's not that's not important in life. Like, the important thing is to is to have like meaningful social interactions, being with your uh, family and friends, spending time with them. And I see streaming, and streaming is fun too, because you can kind of share your, your gaming experiences with other people. So, I, I, and Kat, so I'm glad you're doing, I'm glad you're doing well. I think it's kind of a weird day today just because it's daylight savings time. So, and I've taken, like, if you even take Katsu, like, if you take even one week off as a streamer, it's an eternity. And this is like, I'm thinking of this in terms of, uh, you know, being a streamer as a potential job or career, like, if you're taking it that seriously. Like, if you take a one week off, it really feels like a century. Whereas, like, when you, when you, even, like, people who don't like their work you're allowed to get vacation but i think in twitch the twitch streaming world as a career choice you, you can't even take vacation because like your viewers are going to be wondering oh where where's the streamer and then they might move on to to watch another streamer so you definitely lose viewer numbers but so i think i think i think nowadays since twitch is so oversaturated like there's so many oh let's go to the map so we want to go to map and yeah, you place the marker with the X. Right. And the other thing that was goofy that I didn't realize until like a little bit later in the game is like you you go you push your analog stick up and down to zoom in and out, which I didn't know. So that was kind of derpy. So since we since we're doing exploration mode, it doesn't tell you where the quest is, so you have to kind of find it on a map. And we have to go to the southern part of Mount Anus. Ano, so we'll just so th so since that marker undiscovered location is to south, we'll just do that and we'll just follow the marker. 
to this kid. I agree. I agree, Sir Charles. Like, I thought it was it was really helpful because I was doing so much networking, Sir Charles. I was like watching eight streamers at the same time, and sometimes I, I was like really fat. I would comment uh, in one stream, and I meant it for another stream, and it was like really bad. Like, it's not healthy to watch eight streams at the same time and flipping through all the tabs. It's very, it's very stressful and draining. But that's what I was doing just to say hi to all the streamers I know and and the reason why you want to do that is because then people would say oh you know Fuzzy J Cats is often at my stream so when I raid I'll raid Fuzzy J Cats channel like that's the reality because you kind of you remember like the people who are on your stream <laughs> I know Oni this whole game is about <laughs> it's <has> like <laughs> Mount, Mount Anos, but I think it's I think it's apt because this game has so much sex in it to call it Mount Anus. So we can call it Mount Anus. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go here. Oh, clear the Cyclops' house before the quest. You know what? Let's let's just kind of Batman. I think this game, even on normal, it's actually pretty easy especially if you're used to like the dark souls combat so i don't think we and like we don't even have to like upgrade our armor we're just going to use the armor that we find because like let's try not to grind because I, I i really do find rpgs really addictive but like after a while i think watching someone grind over and over again streaming is boring though i for me grinding intrinsically is fun but as a streamer like if you keep seeing someone grind over and over again it's like really boring you want to see action you want to see like the cutscenes you want to have the and that's why like uh, borderlands 2 was so hard because i needed to grind so much just to get through the first chapter i know exactly sir charles oh my god i know because uh, what i like the couple of times like I did watch Twitch a couple of times this week, and so what I did was, I what I what I did was I was like back to my usual video game self where I only watched like one or two Twitch streams in depth, and I would just like kind of I would go back and I would talk, and it's because it's just unhealthy to keep. Yes, exactly. Like I only in, in, interact with a couple. Exactly, Sir Charles. I did the same thing, and I like socializing in Discord. It's much easier because it's not real time. Oh, nobody's okay. I totally get the sentiment. I wrote this. So Katsu is saying read an op-ed type article. If you can't help yourself, nobody's going to be able to help you. Exactly. You, you're you're so right. I mean, that is like on point, Katsu. Like, and and also like because. Uh, when you're affiliate, because you could cheese the affiliate strat. Because I I wrote on my blog about it. Um, but if you're so focused on the viewer numbers, the, the content of your channel is going to like uh, not. You're not going to do as well. You're not. And and the thing is, like, you're gonna. It's gonna. You're you're gonna burn out like I did. Oh, let's 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 open. See now. See this eagle thing on top of the map quest, like up here. Uh, I, I want to. I I want to open up all of the the save points. So we want to. It's like the Ubisoft Tower. So we want to. We want to have all these save points. And the thing is, like, the more Ubisoft Towers you unlock, your eagle's eyesight is much better. So then, when your eagle's eyesight is better, he can he can easily find. Icarus can easily find like more landmarks for you, like treasures. And that's like a, that's a real that helps a lot, like knowing where things are. So let's. Okay, now I don't want photos in here, so I'm going to put... I put no photos because we don't want the map to be clogged with all the f different photos on here. And I put gameplay icons so we can see what we're doing. But you're right, and, and, and I think I was really trying to get partnership. Like, deep down, I really wanted partnership, and I was striving for it. But it got so exhausting. I'm middle-aged. I'm not 20. It got so exhausting watching... Uh, streams all the time doing all this I was doing like networking I was like really hardcore and it burned me out so then I had to take three three weeks off so you don't want the thing is like you want to enjoy the stream so you don't so this is like the first penis statue <laughs> that we happen to plot so so you, you don't want to you don't want to like burn yourself out by like worrying about the viewer numbers you just want to enjoy the process 
And there really isn't much difference between being affiliate and partnership except for the emoticons, because affiliation, you still can get subscribers, get the sub button, and that's all you really need. And even if you're not an affiliate, you could just put a tip jar, tip jar on your channel panel, so... Yeah, Katsu is right on, is on point. Oh yeah, Batman. I that's why I can't do shooter because it's all action. There's no like here. Okay, we're watching Icarus flying around. We see the beautiful scene, so then I can actually talk. Yeah, Sir Charles, it's nothing personal. Like if you if you if you watch like eight because I was like watching stream like practically almost twenty four seven. Like every free time I had, I was I was doing networking. I was watching like eight streamers at once, and it's really not fun. And I like to, I'll, because Sir Charles, it was so refreshing because I like to just go to your channel and just like talk to you and watch your gameplay, period. Like, I, it's just tiring to flip through. Yeah, in this game, Oni, you're right. Uh, yeah, in this game, the, re the other thing about, because like, Odyssey, you might get overwhelmed because like there's so many quest markers, there's so many things to do, there's so many things to unlock, there's so many, you always stumble into like five trillion camps. But if you do like the side quests are really rich and complex and varied, you want to do like the main side quests. And and in this game, if you, as long as you do the main side quest, you'll be you'll be able to level up. Like, there's no, you don't have any issues of leveling up. Yeah, and Borderlands Two as well. Like, you want to do the side quests. Oh, this is at the very beginning, Katsu. So we started at, if you watched the movie Three Hundred, we we were watching how the Spartans, the Three Hundred Spartans, held off against the um, Persian army and they held them off and, and saw the cutscene and then Leonidas expressed his regrets that his whole life was war, war, war and that he never, he regrets never, never being able to fish with his son, never spending time with his family, but he held off the Persian army. That's that's where you kind of learn like the dodge and the parry mechanic. So we're at the, actually at the very start, um, Katsu, and he's 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 a mercenary, and so he makes money doing quests and and you know and helping others in return payment. And so Marcos is kind of his father figure. Marcos owes him a lot of money. Because he needs money himself, but then come to find out Marcos was supposed to give him back his money, but instead he bought a vineyard. So obviously we're pissed off at Marcos because we're not going to get money because he, he put it all to the vineyard. So we're shit out of luck. So we're at the very, very, be very, very, very beginning, Katsu. Oh, Katsu, you're really sweet. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for following Katsu Bucket. I really appreciate that. Speaking of Weaver Fuzzy, can I make a quick... Yes! Do shout out! So the other thing, you guys, we we, we are able to put links, so shout, definitely shout out Chi Chen. Um, just kind of click your link on here. Okay, and then... <laughs> I don't have a penis. Exactly. We, we didn't hang on to the penis Oni. Did we fail as as a streamer? We didn't do the right stream content. So we have let's hang so Oni, let's hang on to the penis. Okay, now because we are uh, we are part of the assassins, like uh, we never die from falling from dropping at I large this. Not climb on this. <laughs> I should probably not climb on this. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, Sir Charles, like, and, and like, the as you can, if you remember, I'm not sure if you remembered, I, you were playing Red Dead Redemption 1 this week, and I was actually, like, no, la, it was two weeks ago, because I didn't really watch Twitch, and I was actually, like, conversing in chat and not flipping back, and it was just, it was so refreshing to be able to just be with you, Sir Charles, as opposed to doing the ridiculous networking I was doing, <laughs> so, okay, so we did the correct concept, <laughs> thank you, Oni Crane, Crane! It's so good to see you. I really miss you all. <laughs> I really miss you guys. No, you do have to. You do have to. You do have to hang on the pe- well, So I think one of the cheese strat of this game is that we have to find all the statues and we have to hang on all the penises. And the balls as well. So we have to hang on the balls. Can we- Okay, there we go. 
Okay, so we, so we did a good job, GG. <laughs> this is like the challenge. We're doing like, we're do you know how we're casual, I'm actually a casual gamer, but we're doing like a challenge run of hanging on every single penis and ball stat balls of every single statue. So that's, that's gonna be like the challenge run. So we, we, we succeeded there. And uh, what I did was I actually did, I was really anal about this game. I did every single, I opened up like every single question mark and I did every single quest before I saw Marcos, but I don't know if that's gonna be, oh, actually let's do all the interesting interesting quests because I don't want to bore you with like, because there are some really boring side quests where it's just fetch quests and it didn't even e elaborate on the world or the characters, but there's some amazing side quests that, are just as nearly as complex as Witcher 3 from what I... Because I never played Witcher 3, but I heard Witcher 3's uh, quest lines are really complicated. They're stories in of themselves. And so so let's do the quests in this one that are the main side quests that have, like, storytelling as opposed to, like, you know, just give me, drag me, and that's all. You know what I mean? So... <laughs> <laughs> just casually <laughs> that's funny Oni. yes we do Caps, we have to make our own trophy for completing that task it's gonna be fun. it's gonna be it's gonna be really a fun journey cat soup so we have to like find all the statues and we, there's also these tablets you find and you have to solve riddles and so I, I was hoping that one of the tablets would ha be like oh you know hang on to um you know they, they have like a riddle, so maybe the riddle would be like, uh, this statue has the biggest dong in the entire world, go find it. <laughs> Thank you for the subscription! How you doing? Thank you for subscribing, I really appreciate it. Okay, Fat Man found all the giant cock points, exactly. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, let's... Um, I like this one, I did one for... BDG. Look, can we shout out everyone? Rafa, Custodio. Uh, and does anyone else want to shout out Sir Charles? I think we'd have Sir Charles. It's been so long since I've done this, so I have like the so, uh, um, so obviously when you come into my channel, Sir Charles Hoffa and and then Oni, we have one. You guys have your own special commands that you can do, so definitely do that because I I believe that I believe the thing is is that you don't want the streamer to kind of do too much typing because it kind of it makes the chat messy, I guess. So definitely, if you guys want to uh, to post your links and to do your shout outs, definitely do definitely do that. So, oh, how is he enjoying it, Hoffa? Is he? I heard I I want to play God of War. It's it's real. I heard it's like really really amazing. Like the cutscenes, the story, and at the same time, even though I heard it's kind of linear ish. I heard there's like so much like on your way to the story. There's so many like nooks and crannies that get tucked in and that you might miss. Okay, so we're going to... I'm not sure if this quest is interesting, so let's just pick up this quest. I entreat you, send us a champion. Someone worthy of your mighty spear. Help your priestess in your hour of need. I think this one is... This one is kind of a boring-ish qu side quest, but we might as well do that for the experience. And Hoffa, does your boyfriend like God of War? Because I heard it's really incredible, but God of War is a type of game that I have to play first before I stream it because it takes a lot of focus. Killer Shins, how are you? It's been so, oh my god, it's been so long, Killer Shin. It's been so long. Like, I really feel like this is my first broadcast. This is like taking me back to my first broadcast ever. So it's like to me, yes, exactly. See, I like games that are linear, but then it's semi-open world, because then after you complete a story, you can kind of explore the world, and you can kind of find, like, like the, in, in the past Tomb Raiders, you could kind of find, like, the icons or, like, the statues or whatever. And Because I, I like that exploring stuff. Like, 
because I, I love games like this where you can explore, explore, explore. You find nooks, you find nooks and crannies. There's always these surprises. There's always loot to to. There's always loot to find. So I'm really obsessed with it. I really, and I think I like open world and semi semi open world games. So Dark Souls is kind of semi open world because like it opens up, like it branches out, and then you have like once you open up the entire game, you can go anywhere you want. So yeah, it's a welcome back party. I'm doing actually better killer shins. Like I had to really reevaluate my life, and I think I was take I was taking no not think, but I know I was taking streaming way too seriously. So. So right now, I'm just going to enjoy the streaming process, not worrying about viewership. And I think in the bad old days when I was streaming, I would not be streaming this game because you'll get buried under all of the huge streamers. I would probably be streaming Dark Souls Remastered, but I think my community wanted to see this game because it's relatively new and, you know, and everybody has seen Dark Souls. Everybody knows about Dark Souls. So, so I think since I want to play this for a, a be a more casual streamer and really enjoy being with you guys and really enjoying the process rather than focusing, I think it was help. It was really unhealthy, Hoffa, like focusing on viewers, 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 because all that networking I had to do it was just too much. So now, like I'm really, I'm really truly enjoying streaming. And actually, if I were not hardcore, it's actually healthy because like it forces me to wake up, it forces me to be efficient, to get ready for streaming, it forces me to exercise because I have to really focus and hone in on the chat and the gameplay. Oh, Killer Shins! No, let me see. Do I have Killer Shins? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I like your e-boat. It says New York. How did you do that? It says New York, and, and I guess I have this on. It's so amazing. This is hype and different colors. Yeah, let me let me look at it closely. It's so detailed, Killer Shins. Like, did you draw that? Like, what I did was I just bought the um, I just I just spent five dollars on my emote and I got the the cat emotes and it was only five dollars, so it's kind of worth it because I can't do artwork. So so Killer Shins emote is like really amazing. I'm a huge fan of Hoff. I'm a really huge fan of God of War. I just, I, there's just like so many games I really have to. My friend has God of War, so I'm definitely going to borrow it from him once he's finished with it. And I heard the story of God of War is really good, like the most recent God of War. Oh, three hours difference. Yeah, the other thing is that I don't know if you guys have daylight savings time, but here in the U.S., um, we, we have daylight savings time. So I'm kind of like in a weird, I'm kind of like actually in kind of a weird mood just because it's always, it's always hard to get used to, excuse me, new time, even though it's just one hour off. All right, now let's see Alexios is really sweet. Yes, I was Katsu. I got up at seven. So what I did, like the the weeks that I was off streaming, I kind of I did some science. I I said like, how long does it take for me to get ready for streaming? And I found out like I could get everything done, like my chores, exercise, everything, like by eight forty five, and that would give me a good fifteen minutes to set up my stream and to stream. Because like I think when I was making it at one p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Katsu, I would just kind of do networking until 1 p.m. and that led to burnout whereas here what I like is like I I get everything done then I finish my streaming and for the rest of the day Katsu I could kind of go over to my friend's house because they're like getting ready for the day so I can kind of hang out with my friends after streaming and then what I did was like instead of saying the four hours which was absurd like I don't know what I was thinking like I, I thought I thought I could do four days a week, four hours straight, but the 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 amount of concentration focus I'm I'm not I'm not young anymore. That was like too much. So what I did, so if you have a schedule, I would just put down just say that you're going to stream one hour, and then once you because you could always stream more than what is scheduled, but you could never stream less because a lot of people say wait, but you know Fuzzy Che Cat says she's supposed to stream until like if I said like 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And I'm like, oh my god, it's this already like 11 a.m. I want to stop. You can't stop. You have to wait until 1 p.m. Because that's what your schedule says. So, so Katsu, you want to like, 
you want to put down less uh, lower amount of hours than you're really going to stream. So like right now, technically it's ten o'clock, so I can like stop streaming. <laughs> like I could, I could just like wait. Is yeah, it's ten o'clock, so I can actually stop streaming right now. But which is good. But since I'm having fun, I'm, I'm going to continue. At the same time, like I don't want to burn myself out, so I'm only going to do like one day a week stream for one hour until i get used to it per week and then like maybe next week i'll add an extra day but only do it st steal good when it's a rude title because <laughs> we're doing that this is assassin's creed odyssey and like the whole dialogue of assassin's creed is the malakas <laughs> and i was like so a uh, malakas means like literally wanker and but i think it could be used like different it could be the same thing like shit fuck like they say malaka which means shit and fuck so it's actually all the swear words in one word so that's why a <laughs> suspect cactus so sus suspect cactus let's get to see suspect cactus as well so that's why we say i'm back malaka instead of like i'm back bitches because we always say i'm back bitches but i guess this is we're we're in the Greek world, so we have to use we have to use Malakas over and over and over again. If the spear is in the caves, I'll find it. Well, maybe you were sent by Kefalus. Yeah, this is a fetch quest, so this one is not. But Kefalus you want to ask questions like, "Where's Alexios, the spear?" Surely you've heard this story since you were a child. I didn't. Have yeah, much time <laughs> in Greece, you have to use Malakas. Well, perhaps you didn't, but you know, Kefalus founded Kefalonia and started the line of Odysseus. His oh, that's true. Was a he gift did. From the gods. It was said never to miss Well, I guess we should do this Kefalo spear because he. His wife this island's named after him. A spear so. that wouldn't miss at his wife? He was hunting and heard her in the bushes. He thought she was a deer. It's a sad story. Sounds dangerous. Oh, this is kind of God of War ish. Evil Mega Man! <laughs> How are you doing? How's it going? <laughs> so evil Mega Man, it's good to see you here. This is a, I really love this. I really love this game. It's it's really so this is kind of God of War-ish. So Kefalos threw and killed his wife, just like God of War ac accidentally killed his wife. So there's like a lot of God of War. <laughs> yes, we love lurkers. Though I kind of wish, I, I kind of wish that there were like a, a streamer who's like a dictatorial streamer who's like, don't you dare lurk, like how dare you lurk, you're supposed to watch the entire stream, but then he or she really means it, and then like everybody would, I think that person would probably get like a thousand viewers because people would just want to see like a train wreck happening, so, but like who like gets angry at people who lurk? Why do you need a spear? Okay, so you need a spear because that's part of the soldier, temple. Of course not. But think how many people will come to the shrine if we have the Spear of Kefalus. With their donations, I could do so many things. Repair the sanctuary, feed the hungry families in Sami. So where is this spear? Apparently... Now this is not one of the rich side quests that this game has, but at least at least it has some story. It's, this is like a typical fetch quest. But some of the side quests of this game, like envelops like five you have to do five different quests and it really fleshes out like the character and your relationships with the people in this world so it's oh thank you i'll prepare a spot so they really did a good job with the main side quests especially like if you go to this one island which is kind of down the road like all right so we are going to and evil mega man how are you this morning Okay, let's go. They did not have swear words for emotional feelings back then. Oh, I see. That's true. <laughs> That's true, Steve Goodwin. I didn't know that. But you know what? I think... I think... Like, but swear words are just... They're so... It's just so... Um, it's just so pri primal emotion to get angry. So I can see a swear word coming out very quick to say... Oh shit! Cause like you know, like back in the olden days, like oh you're bringing the uh, the boiling hot water finally to the oven. It took forever, like took hours and hours because of the ancient technology. And then you spill it on the floor. Then you're gonna say, oh shit! So so I think like maybe I think square words like came out like really 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 quickly because you know like shit always happens. <laughs> so. Okay, and then. 
Oh, I'm glad you're doing good, evil Mega Man. I'm doing much better, actually. I think reevaluating what I want from life really helped, and taking a couple weeks off for Twitch. However, don't do what I don't do what I do. Do what I say. If you really want partnership, you can't stream this game. I think I actually think Borderlands 2 is better. Uh, uh, game to play to get the viewer numbers because your channel is going to be on the first page. People will then say, "Oh, I want to watch Borderlands 2 and they'll they'll watch you because you're on the first page. Whereas if you if you go to Twitch and you put Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you're going to see me buried under like 12 pages of streamers, and nobody's going to find this channel. So so Nomad and Ghost Recon Wild says shit balls. <laughs> I like that shit balls. <laughs> Like you have to, so we're gonna just we'll be swearing in Greek during this stream. We'll just say, um, you know, we'll just say Malakas over and over, and then we always need Drachmi. That's the other, those are like the two major words we have to use in this game. Oh, we can actually let's kill the bandit leader, let's actually do a real oh, quest and let's do some gameplay. You know, I think in I think in real life we'll say that doesn't sound good. Nobody says time to repent. Like what kind of It's possible. I hear they can be vengeful. I used to worship Hermes at the Drawerati cave. There are gods there too, you know. In the cave? They grant wishes if you bring them tribute. So everyone makes an offering and asks for something in return. Ah, uh, no wishes of mine granted though. Yeah, we need Drachmi. That's the whole point. We need Drachmi. That's the story of our lives. We need Drachmi. I did something wrong. Okay, so we have to. He can be a trickster. Oh, but there are many gods in this cave, all asking for different things. Oh, this is about the Greek Empire, and this is during the period of time where, for Athens and Spartans were fighting against each other. All right. Now, I played, uh, my first playthrough, I played as Cassandra, and I think it was smart, I think it was a good idea, Batman, to play as Alexios your second walkthrough, because you do get, like, different nuances, and Alexios is absolutely adorable, like, I love his facial expression, because, like, he, I was, like, reading all the journalists, and they always parrot each other, they're like, oh, you have to play as Cassandra, but Alexios is just as good as Cassandra, so, like, and I kind of appreciate the fact that you could play as a male or female character and two not only that they're not the typical silent prota protagonist they have like a lot of like Alexios and Cassandra both have like a lot of uh, personality so Batman that was like on point that was a good call so if your first playthrough you play as Alexios and then you want to say and then you want to play as a second playthrough then play as Cassandra so I think that I think I think the strat here is that you want to play as both characters because they have like different nuances So, uh, and, and I thought the journalists were not on point at all. Like, they were bullshit. Like, they were, like, saying, oh, uh, you know, Lexios has no personality, but in fact he does. And everyone says, oh, you know, his voice acting is horrific, but I think his voice acting is good. Unless I'm missing something. Because, like, these journalists always, like, make stuff up, and they always have to parrot each other. And, like, can you guys just, like... Can you guys just think individually? Like, think for yourself. Like, stop repeating what all the other journalists are saying. So, like, Polygon was like, you must play as Cassandra. Like, Alexios' voice acting is, is god-awful when, in fact, it's actually really good. Because he does come across as genuine, and I like how he smiles. Because I thought he was, like, the typical boring, macho, you know, uh, hero that you usually get, but he really isn't. Okay, now this is an investigation site. Someone dropped offerings here. Looks like they were trying to carry them away. Behind yeah, there's a lot of similarities between Greek and Roman culture, because like uh, Roman culture borrowed a lot from Greek culture. So now let's just steal just for the hell of it, because like you want to get the bounties up so you can kill bounty hunters, and then you want to recruit them for your ship. But I think you could only recruit them like a little bit later on in the story. Yeah, exactly, Katsu. Romans took it all from the Greek culture. And it's, it's kind of 
Because I'm so I used to pushing up. Okay, so Icarus is not available. So we're just gonna... And I like exploring these caves. Now, one thing I wish that Odyssey had was that I wish their caves and their tombs... I wish they were like a little bit more complex, like as in Tomb Raider or like Zelda series. But I think the problem is, is that there's just so many caves and so many tombs. You can't, you can't really make it that like that detailed or that complex. So what I think that what they should have done, they should have reduced the numbers of caves and tombs and made them way more elaborate, like what they did in in Tomb Raider and Zelda. And Horizon Zero Dawn had something like that where they had those like tombs as well. But I think that I'm hoping the next Horizon Zero Dawn game, I hope they had like tons of those tombs, but like much bigger, really elaborate. Cause that was like the, my most favorite part of Horizon Zero Dawn um, was going through the tombs and, um, and getting like the artifacts. Yeah, I, yeah, you know the, the the really cool thing, Oni, about culture is that everyone borrows from everyone. And so I think that's why diversity is key. Like, if you have diversity of cultures, you get the best of all worlds. Like, you can learn from all different cultures. So when you close yourself off to different cultures, your culture stagnates. There's no innovation. There's no richness. There's no depths. Whereas if you if you're like a welcoming culture where you where you like welcome other people, you are not xenophobic, you you embrace other ideals, other cultures, you're going to have like a rich a, a much more rich and diverse society. You'll you'll be able to advance so much because you know more minds like they always say like uh, more heads are better than one so to speak. Okay, and yeah, you, you trust skins, and I think they all borrowed from each other. Yeah, see, I like the puzzle aspect, Oni, because I thought the, the, the Tomb Raider games were so amazing, but then I was like, oh, the dungeons were so short, though, and they were my favorite part of Tomb Raider. They need to make it really huge and elaborate, like the Zelda. Like, you need, I think a game should get back to having mazes like they did back in like PlayStation 2 era. You know how like all the RPGs because of Final Fantasy 7, you know how like when you go through and you fight a boss, you have to go through these complex mazes and you have to solve puzzles. So gaming needs to go back to that, I think. Yeah, exactly. Still good one. So you want to borrow from other cultures and learn from other cultures and then make it your own, so to speak. And I think the same thing can be said with Twitch streaming. Like, it's good to watch your favorite streamers and see, oh, yeah, I like how this streamer incorporates blah, blah, blah. I like, I like this aspect of the streamer and then kind of, um, you know, take those elements, but make it your own style. And I think that's like the best way to do everything is to kind of borrow but then acknowledge your influences like you have to acknowledge your influence like i i'm influenced by all of um everyone who streams here so i i, I really love how you guys stream so i kind of take elements of what you guys do into my streaming and and you just get better at it but you can't just say oh this is my own creation it's not because nobody lives in a vacuum now uh, as you can see my poor sense of direction I got lost so what I I know this is cheese but with abilities if you go to the abilities like a really good gamer would just do like hunter 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 because it's overpowered because they're that good they can they can use these skills but since I'm so derpy I really need revelation I need revelation because I can't see I I can't find my way out of a paper bag so I I'm going to get revelation which I would not out of all the abilities this ability is not important because you guys are good at you guys have good vision so you don't have to reveal secrets but I have to reveal secrets because I'm blind so for me that's um, the other one that's like really that I got was this Sparta kick and the reason why I want to get Sparta kick is because a target won't be killed and can be recruited so you want to recruit your you want to recruit your um, the enemies for your own cause and and so that's why I got this one, just so I can recruit people. And then there's like, 
this paralyzing arrows if you're good at range, which I'm not. It does the same thing. It knocks out targets instead of killing them, and then I think you can recruit them that way. But since I'm doing melee because I can't aim, like I'm really bad, I, I, I focus on this. And then since you do have to do some shooting, I always do sixth sense because it slows time for five seconds. But for me, I need the, the way I play with range, I need time to be slowed like five minutes before I can aim correctly. That's how bad I am. Oh, go Cyclops, friendly. Oh, okay, Batman, I'll, I'll remember that. Okay, and so Steel Goodwin has a good point. Like, you want to be influenced by other cultures, but make it your own unique style. I know, Oni! That's why Tomb Raider reboots are so brilliant! And the pacing in Tomb Raider is, is absolutely impeccable. Like, I remember I was like, oh, I want to find all the banners. I want to shoot all the banners. And like, oh, now I'm bored. I'm like, wait, but I could continue the story. And then the story flows effortlessly. And then once you feel like, no, I want to do more exploration, you can do that. You don't have to finish the story. It's so good, Oni. That's why I have to get Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And what I'm going to do is like, I think there's going to be a lot of DLC where they're going to have more challenge tombs, according to Red Mods review of shadow so i'm gonna get like the game of the year edition where they include all the dlc bundles and get it then so <laughs> this is sparta exactly Oni. <laughs> I, I know that man the sphinx is the sphinx is really hard i failed that like five times so you always want to do manual saves because like you, i mess up so many times and i had to redo this one quest it took me five hours because i wanted the best ending with with the you want, I want to get the best ending, so like, but I thought I did correctly, but I didn't, so I had to go back and do it over. But as you can see, my bad sense of directions. And that's why I keep pressing up the D-pad button up, because that's revelation. Because I want to see where are the treasures. I can't see, I can't see. I thought we had to go through a crack in the wall. Like, is this... This is, this is the exit or the entrance? So I, when I stumbled into these caves, I'm like, oh my god, this is so amazing. This is like Tomb Raider, and I really, I really, I was like, wow, I, I can't wait to find more. But then after the 100th one that you do, you're like kind of sick of them because they're not complex. So I think, I think a lot of games need to have really complex tombs to keep it fresh and interesting. I thought we had to go through a crack in the wall. Wasn't it here? What am I doing? Oh, and I like, and okay, this is the ESMR part, like, listen to this. Like, I like that clink sound, it's just so addicting, I, I just don't get it. But didn't we say search somewhere and there's a crack in the wall? Oh, take it easy, Katsu Bucket, so good to see you, it really is. Okay, so I can't... See, streaming is so much harder playing the game than solo, because I never got this lost ever, like this badly lost. I mean, this is really derpy. Shit. <laughs> I always catch on fire, because like, I always, I always like bump into like these torches. But, uh, chat, what are we doing? Like, I thought there was... Wasn't there part where it's a magnifying glass and says, oh, go through here, but then... I ended up out here. Oh, I see. See, there's no gap here. Oh no, I got stuck! That's why, that's why I really need revelation. I really, really, really need revelation so I can find my way out of places. Okay, it says kill bandits in the cave, but this is like the only section I see. But look, see how hidden that is? Oh, no, you have good eyes. No wonder you could do shooters. Because you, you have to be able to see from ranged. Okay, so that's like a prank call. Because I've been getting a lot of like prank calls from my 
Oh, <laughs> just you said I went past the enemy. So this is this is a bad day. <laughs> I just want and like oh, I'm, I'm trying to do like I try to do like this chaos ring of chaos because I'm but I have I forgot I have no abilities. I don't even have second wind, which is my healing. That's a healing ability. That is a must. But do you see how thrilling that is? Like, if you dodge at the right time... Okay, now we have to do the cheese strat method. We we have to run away from the enemy until until we get, like, our second win. We run away, we heal, and then we go back to the cave. So that's the cheese strat I use until you get the second win, and then when you get second win, you can just, like, heal. Oh, wait, I went the wrong way. So now we want to go out of the cave. But do you see how bad this gameplay is? Like, I mean, not the gameplay of this game, but um, my own gameplay. It's very casual. Now if I could... Yeah, so there's the crack in the wall. Okay, now, like, if you're... The good thing about this game is... Okay, so you see how low my health bar is down there? Like, only, like, one quarter health. So what you want to do is you just want to get out of... You want to get out of the aggro. And then once you're out of the aggro... Why is he running so slow? Okay, see how it's turning yellow? So once you're out of the combat area, you just wait until, see, now my health regenerates, and then you, you resume. So then you go back. And you just rinse and repeat. Okay. Okay, COD. Oh, Call of Duty. I heard World War II was like the best Call of Duty, Batman. Is that true? Or, or not, is it World War II? All right, now... I don't think we have stealth yet, because I think you have to buy... Do we have stealth, or is that one of our basic? Because let's, let's go, let's go through... Okay, now, now we have to... Because I think one of the basic is we can do stealth. And you can do stealth in this game, it just, like, takes a lot of... Okay, so now we... Oh my god, desynchronized! But we always have to die at least once per stream, so this is actually this is actually really good. It's following our usual formula of at least one death per stream. Boot on ground combats, Batman. Oh! So is there more melee combat? Get spear kill. Yeah, exactly. I think we do, Batman. I think there is... I think we have a basic assassination, but you have to creep up. You have to do stealth, which I'm not good at. Yes, you can. That's with Oni. That's why this combat is so addictive. You can definitely block... So you, you, you can definitely parry. So once you, if you put off the parry correctly, then you can do a crit hit damage, like in the Soul series. And, it, and the, um, the... It's not as... There's there's more invincibility frames for the parry, unlike Dark Souls. So the parry frame is probably equivalent to, like, Bloodborne, where Bloodborne's all about parry mechanics. And when you dodge, if you dodge the correct way, it actually freezes time, which is so refreshing to hear that whoosh, this time slowing, then you can close the gap and whack him on the head. Brackets! I know! How are you, Brackets? How you doing? Oh my god! I know I fell off the face. I was going through like my friend and his family's going through like an odd, like a horrific time brackets, and I, I I was depressed myself. I mean, I was like so depressed. I I just kind of fell off the face of the earth, and I was like, okay, I had to kind of rethink my priorities because I was like way brackets. I was like way too hard. I admit, I was way too hardcore about streaming. I burned myself out, so I don't recommend. No, if you really want to get partnership, you have to you have to do it, but you have to make sure you don't burn out. But I don't know how you cannot burn out if you do what I did. But like. The brackets I was doing networking, 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 like, well, what's the meaning of this? Like, you know, hearing about my friend's illness, I'm like, well, what's the meaning of this? This is all BS. The whole point of streaming is to have fun with you guys, to socialize, to be with you guys, to kind of enjoy my friendship and relationships. And I'm, and I, and I wasn't going about streaming the correct way. So I, I decided to take some time off to spend time with my friend. And then I realized, oh, actually, I'm a morning person. It makes more sense for me to stream early in the morning. And then I had the rest of the day to kind of hang out with my family and friends. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm feeling actually, I'm actually feeling way better. And what I did with my schedule, yes, it's really cushy and casual, 
but I, I, I only put down one hour because I think if I if I do like four hours, even if it's one day a week, then I'll go to burnout again. But if I put like, I'm only going to be streaming from nine to 10 AM. And like, if I'm really tired that day and I leave at 10, that's fine. But if I make it so that it's from nine to 1 PM and I'm like, Oh, but I, I'm kind of tired at 11 AM. You can't quit. You have to go on until 1 PM. Cause that's what your schedule says. So it's good to kind of make your schedule have less hours than you intend to stream. So that's why I'm decided to do one, one hour of quality streaming per week, making sure I don't burn out. And Nobody then like it. after a couple weeks of, you know, of I, I call it leveling up bracket. So after a couple weeks of leveling up with one hour per week, then I could do two hours per week, leveling up to three hours per week, et cetera, et cetera. And so what I'm hoping, because I found out streaming, if I do it casually and not worrying about viewers and doing all this networking crap, I find it's actually really healthy because it forces me, to, it really forced me to exercise because the, the time that I took off, I didn't really exercise. Okay, now we do have assassination as a basic. So what you want to do is you want to creep up and you go like that, see? <clears throat> So Oni, that was a stealth assassination. So what we did was we aggroed everyone. I came out to, you know, to get my health back. So you can really sneak around, but you have to, you have to spend, you have to be very patient. Whereas rushing in and, and nuking everyone was much easier for me. Yeah, Oni, that's, that's very smart to say when you start. But I guess like in my schedule detail, I want to say like 9 to 10 a.m. And then if I want to stream more, if I feel better that day and I don't feel burned out, then I can just do like two hours. I really can't do four hours. I think four hours was really pushing it. And that, that also led to burnout, Oni brackets. So yeah, level one. Yeah, like you have to see now there is one where you can assassinate like three consecutively but see see Oni do you see how you have to like wait until they're all their backs are to towards you but come to find out like no see they always get alerted now you want to get if you really want to do stealth Oni there's an ability where you could sneak up they don't hear you so it's it's a little bit easier to sneak up on them, but because your footsteps are heavy at level one, they're going to hear when you try. Okay, now we have to do our BS, like teasing that one each. Oh my god, do you see how bad that was? Oh my god. Um, no, we can dodge, of course. I know, we were barely standing, but that's why, I know how we're still standing, but that's because we run out of the combat zone, that's how we're still standing. Oh my god, desynchronize! Oh my god, my BK! How you doing? It's been so long, it's been ages. How, Lady K, how are you and, the, and your family doing? And, and I know, like, I, I hope all of your... Because I would say your fuzzy friends are your family, right, Lady K? Like... Now, Oni, I think, I think I did quote stealth in that section, but because they could hear me creep up to that guy who had his back to me, like, I, they were alerted. However, if I got one of the later spills, you can actually sneak up. <laughs> yeah, Oni, yeah. you're... You do like a lot of stealth shooters, so you're really good at it. Um, and I think Assassin's Creed you can, but I don't have the skills to do stealth. Like I just like rush in, do that, do that. Um, so Lady K, I'm doing that cheese strat of uh, going into combat zone, killing, killing one enemy, going back out of the combat zone, and you can heal because I don't have second wind yet. So second wind is like another ability that you can get, which would probably be the first thing I'll get aside from revelation because I can't see a thing so um so that's how I've been playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey yeah me too well only when I hug the walls I see okay let's let's revisit and this is my first Assassin's Creed Odyssey I mean my first Assassin's Creed game I've ever played Lady K, I hope you're doing okay. I know it's been ages, and like I'm now kind of a, a more well, I am like now a casual streamer, which I like better than being like the hardcore 
streamer that I was, which didn't pan out, like it led to complete burnout. Now, Oni, I think what you want to do is see now. Now let's tease out this one. And you're supposed to crouch, but. <laughs> At least we got a lot. Now we. GG! We killed the we killed the bandit leader. Actually, I'm 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 not this derpy when I'm not streaming and playing. Like, I'm actually not bad at this game when I'm completely immersed in it and not streaming. Okay, so we we did we we completed the now if you because you press the L3 button, they'll say like the we, we completed objectives, which is killing the captain. And the captain has like a double band. Now this one that's yellow. What this yellow means is that they're not the captain so much, but they're, they're, they have more health and they drop more stuff than the captain. The captain has kind of like that badge at the very top, like an extra line. Jojo! How are you? Yeah, but look at this crouch, Oni. Like, look at this. This is my complaint about the game in my review. I'm pressing circle, which is quote crouch, but I'm not crouching. Okay, this combat is brilliant. Okay, now you want to see. I didn't parry, but you can, you can dodge. See how I parried that sort of, and you can dodge. And when you dodge, if you dodge at the right time, it slows down time. So it's like a Neo Dark Souls combat combination, and that's why this game is so brilliant. It's so addictive. <laughs> and then you could kick. There's an ability where you can literally kick kick enemies off the walls and stuff. Okay, now, see, I'm used to having second winds, but we can't use second wind. We just have to, like, get out of the aggro area, and then... Did we pinch everything? I think we pinched everything. Okay, so, if you're out of... If you're out of, like, sight, I think that's when you can start healing naturally. So that was even though we 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 carded twice, I mean desynchronized twice. But uh, the problem is, is that I always get like seduced by these like shiny loots. Like, see the ESMR? Like, just hearing that clink is just so addicting to me. Like the, everything about this game, the sound effects are addicting. The combat mechanics, the parry, the parry whoosh sound, and when you dodge. Okay, let's... Wait a second! Did you see how bad that was? Like, I tried to... I, I tried to crawl through the crack, but... And now the good thing is when you desynchronize, you don't really lose anything. Um, I, I think sometimes, no. Sometimes you do lose your progress, though, so I might have to do this cave again, because I didn't exit out the cave to a safe area. And since I died while in the cave, I probably have to do the objectives again. I definitely will, Batman. I'm definitely gonna. Uh, I'm definitely back into streaming. I'm just not gonna be like networking, like watching eight streams at the same time. But Batman, I'll definitely watch you stream, definitely. And see, we see, see, we we the the thing is, is that we died uh, uh, before getting out of the safe area. So we were still in the red area since we desynchronized, even though we killed the bandit leader prior. We have to do this all over again. So that's like, so it's kind of like Dark Souls. Like when you die, you have to go back and get your souls again. So when you die, you have to do your progress again. Okay, so let's. I had a bad ass <laughs> true bad man. No, okay, Oni, I want to show you the crouch. See, like, crouch in this game, you have to press circle, but I'm not crouch. Yeah, now I'm crouching, but sometimes you crouch and sometimes you don't, Oni. Alright, so, <laughs> bad man. Mix too! How are you? Welcome to the stream. I don't think. I'm not- I'm really bad with names and faces. I'm not sure if we met, but we are doing like a casual playthrough. I already played a lot of this game, and now the thing is, is that since I'm not too cons- Oh, actually, Oni, do you see how we did two assassinations? So we've improved. <laughs> Yay, Migs! 
Yeah, I made it, and, and I'm really sorry. I, I just had to take a break. Okay, so we're doing pretty decent. Uh-oh, we gotta... So you can... Okay, I think it's the bushes, like... But this always happens, like, I, I feel like, oh, I'm doing pretty good with stealth, come to find out. So you can definitely... It's so addicting, this combat. Now, my... See, we don't have second wind, which is the healing ability, so I have to... I really do have to run out and heal. But I'm always going in the wrong direction. Like, I'm not going to the exit. Oh, that's the leader. Do you see how his- it's yellow, but it has like a- a double band over it? Like, the ones that are just yellow without a double band, that's just like a more overpowered enemy. But do you see how addicting that clink sound is? Alright, let's- let's go around. Oh wait, so we- we went out another exit. Now, once we get it, it's actually improved, Odie. Oh, we had three stealth kills. <laughs> okay, now we, we hide behind the bush to get our health back. But this is the cheese strat. I, so it makes two, as you can see, this is the cheese strats that we... Because I'm not the best gamer, uh, but I get by because I use like these really cheese strategies that are really cheesy, but they work. And then I just tease through. Now, now he has like the gold... He has a colored in crown part, so you know that a Bantis. And, and the captains always have a name. Uh oh, they're shooting. And see, what I always do here, like, if you get surrounded by too many and I don't have second wind, which is a heal ability, I just hide. You just hide behind the bush. And, okay, see, now I'm hidden. And then after time, now that you're in, out of the danger zone, the area combat, your health is going to replenish. Okay, now that my health is replenished, we just go back. So we just rinse and repeat over. Now, assassination is really overpowered in this game. So if you're good at shooting, you can like one hit KO this captain if you have like the uh, bow skills. Yep, you can definitely dodge. Now the bounty, the reason why I want to do a lot of stealth is because like there's this point where if you kill too many people that are not bandits and you steal a lot, then you're going to have these bounty hunters after you. And they, they don't rest. Like once you kill one bounty, they come back. And when you kill a bounty hunter, it increases your health, your red meter even more. So then you have two mercenaries after you. And then if you kill two mercenaries, then three, four, five. And then you have like five after you perpetually. So like that's why you want to do a lot of stealth kills. So you don't, you don't increase the red meter too much. Otherwise you just get surrounded by too many bounty hunters. Like that was my other complaint. Like I think what they should do is like once you kill one bounty hunter, like, you have five bounty hunters after you, but once you kill one, then it should only be four, etc, etc. So this is very far, because I think a lot of games were actually influenced by Ubisoft game mechanics, which I think is kind of unfortunate that, like... Yeah, so it's not the gods stealing the loot, obviously, it's just the bandits. Okay, now we can kind of search... So I really loved, when I first encountered these caves, I really loved them because they were like exploration and there were some puzzles, especially uh, with some of, the, some of the special caves, there's like these unique puzzles. But then like all the caves, the designs tend to be the same, so then it gets, it gets like, it gets too tiring. So I think what they really need to do is reduce the cave numbers and, and, and make it more like unique. Like, have more complex designs where you can easily get lost in the caves and you have to, like, pull levers, you have to find keys. Kind of like, you know, how Dark Souls, like the level design of Dark Souls. I mean, it definitely takes more effort to have these unique, complicated I level setup. Oh, Alexios is sweet. I, I, I weave baskets for the market, but my cart is ruined. 
How can I repair it? Or sell my wares without it? Without you? I'm listening, child of... Yeah, Alexios is a sweetheart. Oh, mighty God, I beg you, help me. Your prayers. Her. You will find riches at your door sooner than you expect. I knew you'd listen. My every sunrise and sunset is yours. Everything yep. beneath my humble roof in Sami is devoted to you. Yes. Now, go home and wait for fate to intervene. I will, great God, I will. Actually, Odi, now that you mention it, like, I've never played... I've never played a... F okay, we want to do this. I want to do Merciful Gods, because it's a nice quest. I mean, it is another, you know, fetch-type quest, but... But it's kind of really sweet how he helps the civilians. I know, Oni, so I heard, like, out of the Far... Because I never played a single Far Cry game. So I heard, like, the best Far Cry games are 3 and 5. Like, the most recent one, which I think is 5. So from my understanding, uh, if you want to play Far Cry, and you have Far Cry 3, you should definitely play Far Cry 3. But I heard Far Cry 5 is supposed to be the best Far Cry. And... I believe... Isn't Far Cry through Ubisoft? I don't know. I keep forgetting. Okay, so we're tur now we turn in the quest to him. No gods in the caves. Only bandits stealing people's hopes and drag me. <gasps> I knew it! Yes, thieves. thieves. Yeah, thieves. You know you won't face Zeus's wrath. Maybe he'll take pity on you. I hope Zeus brings his wrath on those bandits. Don't worry. I brought mine. Oni! What I was thinking, you should maybe stream 3, 4, and 5, Oni, because it has... Doesn't Far Cry have a lot of stealth components? And once you finish the PvP component of uh, uh, Recon Wildlands, then you can do Far Cry 3, 4, and 5. Wow! You have all of the... F uh, you have all the Far Cry series. You sh that's what you should do! You should stream them! Now, I... I, I think, and Jojo, it's good to see you. So definitely Jojo's lurking. And we finished our first quest. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish out this quest. And then maybe we can raid. What do you guys think? Oh, that's true, Oni. PV. But I think, did you explore all of the richness and diversity of the PvP elements in, in Wildlands? Because if you kind of like show and stream all of the nuances of PvP, then you can maybe move on to Far Cry. Alright, and... Let's see. Oh my god, Batman's streaming. So we can... I, you know what we can do? Let's try to finish out this quest. <laughs> I just noticed Batman. Like, oh my god! Like, saying, who should I raid? Like, oh my god, Batman. So we'll, we'll so Batman. Just FYI, so I don't have to go into your channel and say, oh, we're going to be raiding. So Batman, after I finish this, after I finish this quick quest, we're going to raid you. And what we want to do is to get the viewer counts because I, I you know like when i'm raiding other people i want you guys to get the viewer counts even though i don't care for myself about my viewer counts i'm going to spam batman's link so definitely double click on batman's link and then for the ones who are lurking we'll just go raid um directly to batman okay and then Interact. Just like she said, the cart looks pretty worse for wear. Okay. Yeah, I mean the, the carts. That's why she looks needs. Like these new baskets were off to market. Yeah, she, she needs. She needs drop me, Alexios. Just. 
see what I'm hoping is like okay yes this is a you know a run-of-the-mill fetch quest type but it'd be nice if I can come back here and, sh and she would say oh you know um, we're doing really well since someone um, brought the treasure and then you see their hut looking like this but then it's improved with like double reinforcements that's what I would like to see more in RPGs like you want to see because um, I don't like cons I don't like the, the concept of Oh, you know, your choice is going to lead to... Because I always get the bad ending, so yes, I'm salty about that. Because every single game I play, if I don't read guides, I always get, like, the worst possible endings. It's really depressing. So I kind of want a game where you automatically get the good ending, whatever choices and consequences you make. But, like, your the choices and consequences you make would affect the world, so that when I come back, like, after you're doing a quest, you see this reinforced hut, the woman looks more happy... Instead of grinding away at her basket weaving, you know, she's with her kids partying. Whatever, you know what I mean? Like, uh, that's that's what I kind of want, so. All right, now let's... <laughs> I know, so Sir Charles <laughs> So we, we finished our first quest in our first branching of the side quest, which is nice. So so it's, it was sort of complex in the sense that we found out the bandits were stealing the loot, We, but then when we exited out, we see this woman who's suffering, and she's asking the gods to help. So it's sort of not the most complex quest, but it does have a good story, a good storyline. <laughs> now we're stealing from her. <laughs> That's like really bad, Alexia. No, no, we're just gonna steal from her. But you know what I mean? Like, I want, I want to, st I want to come back here and see these baskets are reinforced. Like, instead of having like that much, you know, just kind of like this looks like stale bread in her basket. Like you might see chocolate chip cookies or whatever. You know, you might see like better stuff. Okay, so let's. <laughs> okay, so let's. Oh, you know what? We can also. I think next time. I don't know JoJo streaming as well. So next time when when I stream, we'll we'll also raid JoJo. But let's let's put the link for Batman, and then we'll raid Batman really because he knows we're coming. So let's do Batman. Copy. Okay. So let's let's spam this copy and paste. Copy and. Okay, so you see the links, if you guys can double click, and then we'll just raid. Why is this not? Okay, we'll raid that. Okay, and then I'll be back next Sunday, and I'll, I really, I really appreciate you guys being here. I, it's just really wonderful to see you all, and we'll be back on Sunday, but I, I, I actually do socialize on Discord, so, okay. Uh, so I'll see you all next Sunday, but we'll keep in touch through Discord, of course. I love you guys. Oh, wait. I have to... Let's... Let's do this. Stop broadcast.